Stage is David Treatman. Uh, you can't probably tell from that, but, but at, one, at one point he was a, uh, a 12 and a half year old bar mitzvah boy, and his mom, Ronit, paid me a handsome sum of money to perform at his bar mitzvah. And, uh, you know, the fine print of the contract, I just read it recently. She sent it to me and said that, that when, he, uh, when he comes of age, he has to be able to perform with Jumungus on demand. Um, <laughs> And so here he is, David Treatman is going to perform. He's actually, he's a fine young man and a guitar player. How are you doing, David? Hi. Uh, Barry and I are going to attempt to recreate every bar mitzvah. You know, but Barry, actually, you want to bar mitzvah? No. So this is going to be the closest, <laughs> this is the closest thing you get. Uh, you know, my brother was a huge uh, Boston Bruins hockey fan. In the 1970s, when my brother and I were, were bar mitzvah, themed bar mitzvahs were all the rage. So he was a big Boston Bruins fan, and we all had hockey puck yarmulkes. And um, Bob Muir and Phil Esposito showed up at his bar mitzvah, and they, they with the Sharpies, they signed an ancient Torah with the Sharpie. Yeah, totally ruined it. Really humiliating for my brother and, and the... His family's never welcome in that shoe in Brooklyn, Massachusetts anymore. But by the time I got around to my bar mitzvah, my parents were very progressive, and uh, they decided that the theme of my bar mitzvah should be S and M. <laughs> you know, it was it was the '70s, so I did I did my entire half tour with a gag ball, and the rabbi wore a little leather cod piece. That's it. And when I would make mistakes, he would swat my ass with a cat of nine tails. It was really fun and a good snapshot of the period. <laughs> so now Barry and I are going to approximate every dysfunctional bar mitzvah. One, two. I've got two pubic hairs and a three-piece suit. Thank you. 
Yeah. 